where it starts with feeding cows is grass. What we're doing here is this grass is being grown organically, which means it's had no synthetic fertilizers, only cow manure. And that stuff that the cows make, we apply it on the fields, grow a lot of lush grass, feed it to the cows, and repeat the process. So once a cow's done with the feed, we end up with manure. We collect that with automatic cleaners into a centralized collection tunnel. We run it through a separation process. What that does is allow us to have a dry bedding source with which to start to make compost with. The liquid fraction, that we use for fertilizer on the fields. So this is what we do with the manure after it's been collected and separated. This is the remaining liquid. So when the crops are growing, we want to use this stuff as fertilizer. In the winter, we want to store this stuff to save it up for the next spring. That product is a perfect fertilizer for us to grow grass with. That's the only additive that we add to these fields. It's a great way to recycle the stuff that comes from the cow to the feed, and then grown back and delivered to them again. So this is the Royal Dairy Little City. We have about 10,000 animals on this city. And so we have a lot of waste to deal with. This is where all of the drains in this whole little city come to. All the wastewater, all the manure, all the rainwater even. We'll collect it, we'll bring it here, or it'll just drain into here via gravity. The liquid, dirty water that, that we collect on our farm comes to this biofilter. It comes out of these sprinklers. It settles through the biofilter and it comes out the bottom of the biofilter, clean water. In this, in this filter, these are wood chips. In these wood chips are millions and millions of worms. These worms eat all the dirty stuff out of the water. The dirty water goes to the worms, the rocks, and then we're able to collect it off the bottom. And at that point, it's mostly clean. 90% of that water goes back into our system and it cleans all the cows' homes and we use it to clean everything with. 10% of that water we put through our circles, our irrigation pivots, and that waters all of our crops. So all this water is recycled many, many times and then, and then eventually it'll make it to the irrigation circles where it will irrigate with it and grow more crops. Mm -hmm.